Hi everyone, uh, this is RJ Enseñado and welcome back to my channel, uh, GTR Math Tutorial. So for today's uh, video, uh, we will discuss composition of function. So yeah, so the symbol uh, for uh, composite function ay itong circle sa gitna. So for uh, number one, so ang basa dito ay F composed of G of X. Okay, so ang basa dito sa symbol na ito, so circle sa gitna ay compose. F composed of G of X. So, ito is G composed of F of X. So, composition of functions, so kailangan natin at least two functions. So, ibig sabihin nun, yung isang, yung value ng isang function, isa substitute natin sa variable ng isang function. So, in this uh, example, ang variable natin ay, ay X. So, if we have F of X, G of X, and H of X. Kaya, ang basa dito ay Compose, so for number 1, F composed of G of X. So, ibig sabihin yan, yung value ng G of X, isa substitute natin sa X, sa X nung F. Kaya nga, F composed of G of X. Okay? So, G of X substitute sa X ng F. So, for number 2, G composed of F of X. So, ibig sabihin naman ito, yung F of X, isa substitute sa X ni G. Okay? And so on. So, for 4, 5, and 6, meron tayo ang, ang value na natin ay may evaluate na tayo na number. So, we have 4, negative 1, and 12. So, sa first 3 natin ay puro x lang. Okay? So, solve natin ang number 1. Burahin muna natin yung iba. So, suppose that uh, f of x equals x squared plus 3 g of x is 3x minus 2, and h of x equals square root of 2x plus 1, find the following composite functions. So, number 1 lang pala. Uli natin ito. Okay, so we have f of g of x, or f composed of g of x, so that is the same as f of g of x. Okay? So, f composed of g of x, so the same yan as f of g of x. So, ang ibig sabihin niyan, yung value ng uh, g of x, isa substitute natin kay f. So, uh, i-rewrite ko nga lang. O, sige, dito na lang tayo. So, ibig sabihin niyan, yung g of x, yung buong value ng g of x, which is uh, 3x minus 2, isa substitute natin sa x ni f. So, yan, nilagyan natin na 3x minus 2, yung value ng g of x, isa substitute lang natin dito sa x. Okay? So, yun lang yung uh, ibig sabihin yan. So, substitute lang natin. So, we have f of x. So, that is equal to x squared plus 3. Imbis na x, papalitan natin siya ng 3x minus 2. Okay? So, we have Okay, so kinopi ako lang to x squared plus 3. Tapos yung x papalitan natin ng 3x minus 2. Okay, so we have 3x minus 2 squared plus 3. Then, evaluate na lang natin ito. So we have 3x squared plus 3, so that's equal to, apply lang natin yung uh, square of binomial. So ano ba, paano ba yung square ng binomial? So if we have a, oh, so minus ito, so minus b squared, so that is equal to, Yung iba, nakakalimutan yung middle term eh. So, nagiging dinidistribute lang to a squared minus b squared. So, ito yung common common mistake pag nakakakita ng ganito. So, mali po ito. So, ibig sabihin yan, ang formula natin is, ang ibig sabihin kasi nito is a minus b times a minus b. Okay? So, yung ibig sabihin ng exponent na 2. Or in shortcut, so meron tayong shortcut sa uh, square of binomial. So, that is a squared minus twice the product of first and second term, 2ab, plus, yung dulo lang yung plus, dahil pag square natin si negative b, magiging positive b square yan. Okay, so i-apply lang natin to, square of binomial, a squared minus 2ab plus b square. So therefore, we have, square ni 3x, so that is uh, 3x squared, minus 2, times product ni 3x and 2. So we have, 3x, times 2, plus square ni 2, so we have 2 squared, and then just copy the positive 3. Then, let's just simplify, 
So yeah, now we can distribute the two since uh, since multiplication ay ibig sabihin ng 3x 3 times x yan. So pwede namin i-distribute yung 2. So therefore we have 3 square. So 3 square that is equal to so, magiging siyang 3 square x square and then the value of 3 square is 9. So yung iba nagkakamali nagiging 6 common mistake. So 3 squared so that is 9. x squared minus multiply lang natin 2 times 3x times 2. So just multiply 2 times 3 times 2 Okay, so 2 times 3 is 6 times 2, so that's equal to 12. Then just copy x, so we have 12x. And then 2 squared, so that is positive 4 plus 3. Then just combine like terms, so meron pa tayong like terms, 4 and 3. So therefore, the final answer is uh, 9x squared minus 12x, then 4 plus 3, so that is positive 7. So then yung final answer natin, or for f of F composed of G of X. So, 9X squared minus 12X plus 7. Okay, number 2. Uh, G composed of F of X. So, that's equal to G of F of X. So, kung ano yung nasa loob, dun tayo, dun tayo mag start So, ibig sabihin yung value ng F of X, isa substitute natin kay X ni G. Okay, so... Mapin natin si f of x. So, dito tayo mag-start kay f of x. So, ang value ng f of x is x squared plus 3. Isa substitute natin yan sa value ni, value ni g. Value ng x ni g. So, substitute natin dito. Okay? So, therefore, we have that is equal to So, dito natin daw yung value na ito is substitute dito. So, we have 3 times ang value ng x ay ito. So, then minus 2. Kapagkan lang natin. Uh, so, x is x squared plus 3. So, we have x squared plus 3. Then, evaluate. Therefore, we have... Uh, just distribute. Uh, distribute natin yung 3. Therefore, we have 3 times x squared. That is equal to 3x squared plus 3 times 3. So, that is 9. Just copy negative 2. And then, combine like terms. So, therefore, we have 3x squared 9 minus 2, so that is positive 7. So, yan na yung ating value ng uh, G composed of F of X. Okay? Okay, so next, uh, number 3. So, number 3 is F composed of F of X. H composed of f of x. Okay? So, try lang natin ito. Let's start tayo kay kay f of x. So, this is equal to h composed of f of x. Okay? So, let's start with uh, yung nasa loob, uh, f of x. So, ang value ni f of x is x squared plus 3. Then, isa-substitute naman natin kay h. Yun. Kay x ni h. So, dito natin isa-substitute. Okay, so therefore we have, so solot natin yung h, square root of, square root of 2, then ang value ng x, eto, then just copy plus 1. Okay, so x is x squared plus 3. Okay, then uh, simplify natin, so therefore we have, uh, so just distribute the 2, so we have square root of, uh, 2 times x squared, so we have 2x squared plus 2 times 3, so that is 6 plus 1. So finally, we have square root of, so just combine 6 and 1, so we have 2x squared plus 7. So this is the final answer, h composed of, composed of f of x. Okay, so ganun lang kakasimple mag-solve ng composition of function. So paano naman kapag yung x natin ay pinalitan natin ng number. So, meron tayong uh, dalawang way para isolve. So, i-discuss natin parehas. Okay. So, for number 4. Okay. So, for number 4, we have F composed of H of 4. 
So, dalawang solution natin dito. Yung una, pwedeng gawin muna natin x. Then, pag nasod na natin yung f composed of h of x, isasubstitute na lang natin yung 4. So, ito yung, uh, ito yung first solution. So, kuhanin muna natin yung... Uh, solve muna natin yung f composed of h h of x. Okay? So, that's equal to f of h of x. Okay? So, ibig sabihin yung h of x natin. Kung ano yung nasa loob, h of x. So, ito yung h of x. Ipapalit natin kay f. So, yan. Yeah, palit natin dito. So, therefore, we have equal siya sa yung x. Ay, ipapalitan na natin ng square root of 2x plus 1. So, we have square root of 2x plus 1. Yun na yung x. So, kung maka-square pa siya, so, squared plus 3. Then, evaluate natin. So, therefore, that is equal to square root and square are inverse operation. So, pwede natin makancel out na lang yan. So, therefore, we have 2x plus 1 plus 3. So, simplify 2x plus, uh, combine like times 1 plus 3. So, we have 2x plus 4. So, yan yung value ng f composed of h of x. So, now, to evaluate f composed of h of 4, substitute lang natin yung 4 sa bawat x. Okay, so therefore we have uh, f composed of h of 4, so that is equal to 2 times 4 plus 4, so that is equal to 2 times 4 is 8 plus 4, so final answer natin is, is 12. Okay, so yan ang first solution, kuhanin mo natin, natin yung x. Kapag f composed of h of 4, kunin mo na yung x, then after finding the value of f composed of h of x, substitute substitute 4 sa bawat x nitong uh, function na ito ng composition composite function natin. Okay so the other solution and so answer natin is 12. Other solution pwedeng i-substitute na natin directly kasi ang ibig sabihin nito ay f compose of uh, h of 4. Okay? So I think ibig sabihin niyan so pwede tayong mag-start diretso na sa h of 4. So, ito yung isang pang solution. Uh, kuhanin muna natin yung h of 4. So, just substitute 4 sa bawat x ni h. So, ito sa h, square root of 2x plus 1. So, isulat natin, square root of 2, yung x, papalitan natin ng 4, plus 1. Okay, evaluate lang natin ito. So, that is equal to square root of 2 times 4. So, that is 8 plus 1. So, we have square root of 8 plus 1 is 9. So, therefore, h of 4 is equal to square root of 9, so that is positive 3. Then, after finding the value of h of 4, kung ano yung answer, so that is 3, ipapalit natin sa x ni f. Okay, so now, uh, evaluate f of 3. Okay, so f of 3, so punta tayo kay f, palitan natin to ng 3, so we have 3 squared plus 3. So therefore, we have 3 squared, so that is equal to positive 9, and then add 3, so we have same answer, 9 plus 3, the answer is 12. Okay? So, kung saan kayo mas nadalian, pwede nyo gamitin. Pero para sa akin, basta may number, ito yung ginagamit ko. Diretso tayo sa H of 4 and then substitute the answer to this letter, F naman, function. F of 3. Okay? So, number 5. Number 5. Number 5, so paano kapag parehas? F of F of negative 1. So, ang composite function, pwede siyang parehas na function. So, ibig sabihin lang nito ay equal sa F of F of negative 1. So, parehas F ang gagamitin natin. So, parehas ito lang. F of X ang parehas na gagamitin. So, just evaluate na natin yung F of negative 1. So, F of negative 1, so that's equal to so, negative 1, palitan yung x ng negative 1. So, negative 1 squared plus 3. So, that is equal to negative 1 times negative 1. So, the answer is positive 1 plus 3. So, therefore, f of negative 1 is positive 4. So, now, yung answer natin na positive 4, ipapalit natin dito kay f sa x ni f. So, dito ulit. So, therefore, we have evaluate natin f of 4. So, f of 4 is equal to... So, palitan ito ng 4. So, we have uh, 4 squared plus 3. So, therefore, we have 
4 times 4, so that is 16, plus 3. So, final answer natin is, yeah, so, F composed of F of negative 1 equals 16 plus 3, so that is equal to 19. So, that's the final answer natin, 19. Okay, so, last example. Number 6. So we have G composed of G of 12. Okay? So this time, parehas namang G ang ginamit natin. So we have G composed of G of 12. G of G of 12. Okay? So evaluate first the G of 12. So we have G of 12. So substitute 12 for every X of G. So substitute natin dito. So G of 12 equals 3. 3 times 12 minus 2. Okay? So, yan. So, tama. G of 12, so 3 times 3. 3 times 12 minus 2, so that's equal to 3 times 12 minus 2, so that is 10. So, 3 times 10, so that is equal to 30. So, now, evaluate natin yung G of 30. So, medyo malaking number natin. G of 30, so that is equal to Dito ulit tayo kay G of X. So, G of 30, palitan lang ito ng 30. So, we have 3 times 30 minus 2. So, therefore, we have 3 times 30. So, that's equal to 90 minus 2. So, there, therefore, the G composed of G of 12 is equal to 90 minus 2. So, that's equal to 88. Okay? So, that's all. I hope na naintindihan nyo ang explanation ko ng composite function or composition of function. So, para sa mga bago pa lang, huwag kakalimutang mag-subscribe and please share para makita din ng mga ibang uh, nagre-review para sa general mathematics to ng pang uh, grade 11. So, thank you for watching. God bless and bye-bye.